In the um, 1980s, we introduced a small gold-coloured flea beetle. It's a really cute looking thing. We released that around much of New Zealand and within, in some cases, two years, but within about 10 years, most um, drier climates throughout New Zealand, we would release the beetle, ragwort had pretty much disappeared. And that was a huge success in terms of biological control. In higher rainfall areas, ragwort did persist. And um, so we, uh, worked with a group on the west coast and introduced a moth and um, the moth uh, prefers um, wet climates and feeding in swampy type areas and uh, its caterpillar stages of the moth also feed on the roots of seedling plants and so in those wet areas like the west coast of the South Island, um, Southland, parts of Otago, Central North Island in those parts where we've released the moth we're now finding that ragwort's disappearing from those places as well. So between the two agents, almost throughout New Zealand, ragwort's become a relatively rare plant. Regional councils almost never have to deal with it. I know some regional councils now don't even, even have it in their regional pest management strategy anymore, so it's a pretty cool change really. What we've done with the study is we've used the fact that the beetle doesn't work in, in the very wet areas of the country. So that's allowed us to quantify costs to the dairy industry on, in this case, the, the west coast. Um, and that gives us a, a costing if biocontrol hadn't happened. Then making a variety of assumptions, we can e extrapolate that data across the entire country to the 12,000 da dairy farms, which, which there are in total. Um, then we go back in time further because actually ragwort biocontrol was pioneered by New Zealand starting in 1926. So we have to find out the figures that it's cost New, New Zealand to do that program since. So combining all these figures together, and these figures by the way are just the cost of ragwort control, we come to a figure, um, an estimate for 2015 of a saving to, to the dairy industry of $44 million a year. That would cover ev every dollar that New Zealand has spent on weed biocontrol research many, many, many times over. And of course, if we had figures beyond the dairy industry, um, we, it, it would be even greater. And our study shows that we could save a further $20 million a year if the plume moth is successful and it's already starting to look very good.